Hey guys! Okay, so I am tired and I'm at work and I am just want to fall asleep on us this weekend. But um, I said I wasn't going to buy makeup and I bought makeup. Sorry. I said I was going to buy makeup and I, I said I wasn't going to buy makeup and I bought makeup. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a makeup lover to that. I couldn't help it. But it's just a couple of things. It wasn't much. It wasn't like big, you know, a lot of stuff. It's just like three items. But I wanted to get it because they were new in the collection. The Wet n Wild collection had came out in 2014 and I just really wanted to try it out and see if I liked it and stuff because I really like Wet n Wild stuff. And I heard certain people didn't like the new collection that came out. So I was like, mm, but I still bought it anyhow because I like I like this stuff. So yeah. So what I got for them was makeup palettes, and I got it from my girl Makeup Haven. So yeah. Um, the video before this I think will be a get ready with me video. We went to kind of no, the rig, and um, she had done a makeup booth there. She had a makeup booth there, so she was doing like makeup for people that was walking in and stuff. It was all inclusive, but and. Um, she, I went there to help her. It was fun. It was really, really, really fun. I didn't expect how much. Because after we limed a little bit. So in the video, you'll see, like, um, when I got ready and stuff. And then you'll see, like, she doing makeup. And then I had Alicia Young. Um, she's on Facebook as well. I'll put a link down below for her. Um, for, the, for everybody. Rhea and her makeup side. And, um, Alicia Young, she has a makeup page there. She had done makeup. So you'll see in the video, like, all that stuff. And things. So I'll put a link down in that video. So she had given me my own. I had gotten so i got two of the um five piece palettes this one is in floral values and this one is arts in the street now she had truth something with the, the brown ones with the, the name of bear truths truth i don't know it's something with truths in it and um i didn't really hear much review well much good reviews on it people were saying that the eyeshadows wasn't pigmented and it wasn't very good quality and stuff so I was like you know and then I'm not a brown girl clearly I'm not a brown girl so uh, brown is not my thing so yeah so I didn't take it and then I had what well, this was the um contour blush and bronze and the duo from elf so this is my first impressions and my haul in one so my first impressions of the elf 2014 collection this one is floral values and the uh, color that took to my eye was this dark um, purple color very smoky so this you get one shimmer as this one and then you get a kind of matte with chunks of glitter in it I would say because it's not it's a matte color you get two mattes which is your base and your eyelid color and then you get a kind of satin color here so I was like, I love the fact that e.l.f. mixes and they don't give you like full shimmer or full satin or full matte. They mix their palettes so you have different textures and stuff to play around with. I do love that about e.l.f. So this is it here. But um, this one really did take my eye and it kind of disappointed me because it was this nice matte with a little bit of chunks of glitter in it. And you just normally just get matte. So that's it there. I was watching it on my hands. So I was kind of a little disappointed in it. I swatched this one which was the brow bone it's not a pigmented brow bone it's just a light could you see it but that's how brow bones is and I think I would definitely use this as a brow bone seeing this oh sorry light and just a little shine to it so I love that and then the matte in this oh the matte is pigmented that's good and then the definer color again the mattes are really pigmented in this okay I talk too soon wasn't all that that was one swatch but um you could see it so the matte the brow the base is really nice and the eyelid color that's there yeah, let's see how it swatches not that bad overall it's not that bad actually you can just see the colors even the brow bone one too so it's not that bad of the um palette so yeah I don't know how it is blend wise, but if these things swatches like how it is now, the only disappointment is the color that I was looking forward to, which was this crease color. Yeah, but we'll see how it is on the eye. Let's get to art in the street. Now I took this color, I took this palette just because of the fact that Carnival is here. So I um yeah, I do my anime face. 
So I was like, yes, this is a really excited palette just for carnival time. So this is it here. Now this has purple, orange, yellow, green, and blue one. Obviously they didn't put like, this one had like base and definer and crease and eyeliner and stuff like that because I, yeah, it's just matte colors, but damn, these things are really, really gorgeous. Let's see how it swatches on. Ooh, okay. Not that bad. Mm. Wow. So they transfer nice. Some are better than others, but they're very pigmented. This color especially, you see this kind of green, this kind of sea moss greenish bluish color really does transfer nice. That's this one here. The orange is really nice. Um the yellow it looks on my hand it looks yellow in the pan here when I just swatch it it looks like a kind of yellow gold it doesn't look pure yellow it, it looks mixed the blue swatch is really nice when you on your finger but when I swiped it it didn't I guess it's a buildable color let's see if it's buildable I'm sure it's buildable but it's so freaking creamy I wouldn't like. They really have a good formula for matte colors. Yeah, it's see, it's buildable. I love that. So yeah, so that's it there. Gorgeous. I do like this one, the art industry, but not a lot of people would not really go for bright colors. Um, but I think it's a great color for carnival time. And then the next one is this bronze and blush. So those are my first impressions on the um. 2014 elf collection eyeshadows and I really really like those too. I don't think I'll be getting the truth one. So this one is the elf. This is the elf um mirror. No mirror. Blush and it but the thing about it is that it look I have to get my other one because it looks very similar to the one that I have. So I'm gonna give you a swatch of the pink. That's the pink there, and this is the bronzy type color and the bronze has a little shimmer to it but it's not that bad and where would you see it so that's it there nice baby doll pink and a really nice um brown to go with so i think this will really match my skin tone yeah so that's it there and that's it this is an antigua i don't know if you can see that there but um it says it god you think that's so small it's an antigua yeah yeah, so that's it there, my first impressions on the Wet n Wild 2014 collection. I love it, and I will definitely be using this duo. So yeah, and hopefully I will be doing a look with it. We'll see. But this is definitely Carnival. So if you're looking for a simple palette for Carnival time, just want some bright colors, and you don't want to go all crazy, you just want like the natural bright colors kind of all time this is definitely a palette to go i just wish i had probably had like a pink in it but yeah so that's it there so i hope everybody have a wonderful day and night whenever you're watching this video and um i actually like these so yeah so until next time guys i will talk to my next video Bye bye